everyone. Welcome back to our science lesson today. In our last session, we learned about the main properties of matter, which is we learn about mass, volume, shape, and compressed. In this time, you will learn about some properties of materials that decide their uses. To hold a liquid, we generally use a tumbler made of glass, plastic, or metal. Similarly, our cooking vessels are often made of metals or their alloys. They cannot be made of paper or wood. Let's check what is inside my bag. Oh, you can see that we have many things inside my bag, such as coin, scissor, paper clip, key, accessories, hand sanitizer, and also my earphone. All of this stuff is made of something we call matter. Matter mostly categorized into two categories, which is metal and non-metal. Coin, paper clip, scissors are categorized as metal because the main materials to make of this thing is metal. And the other on this table are categorized as non-metal. Now, we will continue this lesson about the characteristic of matter based on their usage. To make an object, we choose a material depending on the properties of the materials and the purpose for which the object is to be made. There are many properties or characteristics of material that decide its uses. For example, the gadget that we use to watch this video is made of some materials according to the purpose for which the object is to be made. One such property is appearance. Materials usually look different from each other. Metal have luster, but wood and chalk do not. The next property is hardness. Materials which can be compressed or scraped easily are soft. Example, cotton, sponge, and also candle. Materials which are difficult to compress or scratch are hard. Example, iron stone the next property is solubility let's try to dissolve of few materials in water some materials like salt and lemon juice dissolve completely in water they are said to be soluble in water on the other hand some materials like sand and coconut oil do not dissolve in water, even on steering hard. Such material are said to be insoluble in water. Like solids and liquids, gases too can be soluble or insoluble in water. Water usually has small quantities of certain gases dissolved in it. The most important gas is oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen and carbon dioxide dissolved in water is very important for the survival of aquatic plants and animals. The next property is floating or sinking in water. Take some materials like coin, key, stone, dried leaf, and a piece of cork and drop them in a tumbler of water. 
Some materials float on the surface of the water, like dried leaves and cork. On the other hand, some materials sink in water, like coin, metal key, and stone. The next properties is transparency. The transparency of material is decided by the extent up to which things can be seen through it. There are certain materials through which things can be seen. These materials are called transparent materials. Example, glass, water, and some plastics. On the other hand, there are some materials through which things cannot be seen. These are called opaque materials. Example, wood, cardboard, cotton, and metals. There are also some materials through which things can be seen, but not clearly. Such materials are known as translucent materials. Example, oil paper, wax paper, and some plastics. Now, let's we learn about the other important characteristic or properties of metal and non-metal based on their usage. Let's check it out. All metals are good electric conductor. While non-metal are bad electric conductors except liquid and graphite. Heat conductivity. Metals are good conductors of heat while non-metals are bad conductors. That's why you can see in your kitchen that the cooking stuff is made of metal. The important point is to choose a material for an object it must have suitable properties. Example, the shirt is made of cotton because cotton is soft and flexible. The bridge is made of steel because steel is strong. The boat is made of wood because wood is flowed in water. The shopping bag is made of plastic because plastic is strong and flexible. So, that's all for today. See you on our next lesson.